But yeah, so Angel went back to school oh today God. on a Friday. This is so dumb. And it's weird because it's Friday. Like, who goes back to school on Friday? But that's what they did. And it's another school that did it too. My friend have a boyfriend in Love Joy High School. They went back today. Your friend got a boyfriend that's in high school. How old is your friend? He teaches in Love Joy High School. Okay. Right. So she said they went back today also. So. <laughs> so. What? It's just it weird though. Why would they go back on a Friday? That's weird. Yeah. But anyway, mm -hmm. one of my students tested negative, so he's good. And the class that needed to quarantine is quarantining, so that's great. Great news today. We only had three kids show up today, and it was a smooth Friday, smooth selling Friday. It's Virgo motherfucker season. Eight days for my birthday. Today is Ludacris' birthday. Shout out to Luda. Remember when 9 11 is tomorrow? I lived it. So I know that was a horrible, horrible time. And it's a time we'll never forget. You want I, want I remember I left right now at the babysitter house. I forgot her name though. But it was a nice Spanish older lady who took care of my mouth for some years. And I took him to the babysitter house and I went to school. Then when I went to school, they told us during school. They put the TV on, they showed us what was happening. And they said, anybody that works for firefighters, policemen, anything in the force has to leave the school and go help. And at the time I was working in the police department. So I had to leave school to go to the police department. I had to walk a few blocks to the police department. And when I was walking toward the police department, they was closer to the Twin Towers than my college was. So I really got to smell the debris. I got to see the blackness. It was scary. And then when I went inside to start working, all you hear on the walkie-talkies was police like, help me, I'm stuck, help me. Oh my God. I'm talking about a sad, sad time, sad time. And then when I finished working, there was no trains, no buses, no cabs, nothing. It was thousands of people just walking, walking boroughs. We in Manhattan. I had to walk from West Side Manhattan to the Bronx. And I had to walk, I had to walk over the bridge, everything. It was like, it was like the craziest scene ever. If y'all ever saw that, I was so crazy. And then I made it to my son. And that was the happiest thing. So just make it to my son. Oh my God. It was terrible. That was a terrible thing. And I was telling my kids that recently on CNN 10, they was talking about that Biden is releasing people from Afghanistan. And I'm like, they still there? All these years. It's been 20 years. These people are still there fighting with this. No, they're not fighting. That is ridiculous. Let me tell you what's happening. They're not fighting in Afghanistan. They have, there are people in Afghanistan. They're still at bay over there. They're still at base over there. They have a whole base over there. Yeah. Currently, they just started Afghanistan on both sides of Afghanistan. Nothing to do with the U.S. They started fighting. Then the U.S. got involved, and now there's another. There's a war in Afghanistan currently. Right exactly. Now. Since 20, oh. 2001. Are you not listening? Since 2001, we've been fighting with them. Is she not listening? And they, they said on the CNN 10 that they won because we leaving. I saw that on CNN 10. They said they won because we leaving. So basically, like, they finally won because they ran us out. No, you didn't win. That's crazy. Those people are really no, you crazy. You can't be the president. You're too, you too competitive. You can't take a loss. You would no, have really another crazy. war happen. No, just because you don't want to lose. It's not about competitive. 
It's about ridiculousness. Like twenty years of I'm that. I'm saying. I'm saying. Twenty yeah. years. That's that's like way too long. Like, come on, get these people back to their family and their life. This is ridiculous. The world wars were longer than that, weren't they? No. That's what she's saying. Twenty years that didn't happen. That people were at bay at a whole base over there. What she's saying, it doesn't make no sense. Yes, it does it make doesn't. sense. That's what is happening. It doesn't. Anyway, like you know, they know everything. Exactly. They know everything, right? But you don't. Oh, you said they as us. Oh, I don't. Know. Anyway, next. So I don't want none. Nine eleven though. When I took my kids back to see New York, they built a new because it used to be twin towers. So they was known for the twin towers and the Empire State Building. That was New York's landmarks. But then when the twin towers fell. They only had the Empire State Building as the landmark of New York. So now, they rebuilt a new tower, and it's bigger than the Twin Towers, but it's only one tower. And when my kids got bigger, when I had more kids, and they got bigger, I took them to New York, and I took them through the tour. That's where we was at with JoJo. They have a mall down there. They have a whole... Thing, a memorial, like a museum of all the people that died. They have like a whole memorial down there. And it's one big giant building now instead of two. And it's different. Like, it looks different now in New York. Looking down from the airplane. Looking down, it looks different than what we've known for so many years. Mm -hmm. But they played this video about kids born in the 2000s that they never knew about it. Of 9-11. And the kids was talking and they were saying how they heard how it was tragic and all that. But they, they really have no idea what happened. Some people don't talk about it because they're from other states and stuff. They don't really care. Like, New York is cared, you know. But it was cared over all over the world. Because they also crashed in Virginia. They also crashed a plane in Virginia. And they right, there was a one that crashed that was trying to hit to the White House. Yeah. The one that but yeah. The, White House, the other one hit the Pentagon. One, two. Yeah. 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 And so those states care about it, too. So, everybody should know about it. So, all that was planned? Yep. Yes. And they, do that and they killed themselves to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah, those crazy. are called suicide bombers. Well, suicide bombers. They are crazy terrorists. Crazy. Mm -hmm. The dude was captured and killed already. The yeah. Leader, the leader been killed. Bin Laden. Yeah. And he wasn't killed right away. Yeah, it was a couple of years. It was like a year or two after. But they said that they, they faked it. They said that Bill Bush, Bush, George Bush faked that. He had a whole alliance with them. This whole shit is about money and oil. And they making it like it's not. But I don't know. They were looking for Bill out of for years. And when he magically appeared and they got him, it was like, you sure? We was not, we was not so, as American people, we were not so when they said they had been lying. We was like, yeah, right. And they showed us proof, but it looks so fake. Like, they let them go or something. Let me tell you. That was one day. That, like, like when Obama got elected for president, my man went out there to D.C. to see the inauguration. It was a whole field trip. Those are certain days that you're going to remember and go down in history forever. They'll be, they'll be in the history books, these things. So for me to have lived that, it's crazy. It's in the history books. Yeah, it's crazy. 
We let to see a lot so far for real. Oh, I'm ready for that water just made it worse. But yeah. I'm glad that I didn't have nobody real, real close to me that died there. I only had like a friend or two that I knew from work. I didn't have like family and stuff that like that. Kids like hot shit, but oh my god, here she go with this. No, 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 kids like hot stuff, but they don't like the aftermath of what hot stuff do to you. And they be they be tearing up the hosta. And I be like, I just be looking like, I don't know how y'all do it. Cause that shit. Nothing is wrong with me about it being hot. My stomach hurts from drinking and eating mad fast. That happens every time I eat something. It's not that it's hot. So why are you walking around? You should Cause be... my stomach hurts. You should be sitting. Stomach hurts. You know what I'm saying? Look at my belly right now. My belly is full. My belly is full. I have a, I got a belly right now. A little bit. Mm. And he's just licking bones with ranch. <laughs> All right. Y'all like this video? Like, comment, subscribe. Smack that notification from the back. From the back. Before we leave, though, before we leave, we got to do this real quick before we leave, Jamal. <clears throat> Sunday. I'm not going Power. Power. What's your prediction? I couldn't care less. I didn't want to. He's so rude and nasty. What's your prediction, Angie? I didn't want to have that. On the way. Power on Sunday. I need a prediction. I'll be waiting. Give me one death. Who's dying? Cause we got two episodes left. Who's dying this okay. Sunday? Give me one. Who's dying? Okay, no. <laughs> I'm fine. They already dead. True. One person who's dying this Sunday. Who? Mm. Davina. Davina. Oh, yeah, that's her name. Okay. Yeah. Can and yeah. girlfriend. She predicts can and girlfriend. What about you, Jabal? I'm not seen up, so I don't care. Give me one death. I don't care. You don't miss one episode. You can't do one prediction. Yep. You seen the whole season. You just missed one episode. Exactly. That episode could have been a lot of information. Alright, but who nope. do you predict? Nope. It's gonna die. Nope. Well. Famous. He said, mm. his friend famous, he said, okay. Okay. I predict Davina and the brother Melvin, Marvin, Marvin. I predict the brother Marvin. And, I mean, I could see it, but I don't think it's actually going to happen. What? Marvin dying. He needs to go. He does. I hope he do. Oh, and the cop, the dad. What is the cop name? Yeah, I I should have died. The cop, Detective Howard. <laughs> Not her writing the name. Detective she Howard. Knows. Detective Howard is dying of cancer, and he needs he needs to tell Kanan, and he haven't told him yet. Wait, so that means Kanan's last name is Howard? Yeah, last name got hit in the head. Mm -hmm. He have not told Kanan yet yeah, nothing. Mean, and he, yeah, he's dying. Why are you waiting? I would have hurry up and tell him. If your homie did, if your homie did, I would hurry up and tell him, and then I would have been harassing him after that. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I would have told him already. He's taking too long to sign him. That's crazy. And the mom is really trying to hide it. She, do, she, he she do not to tell him. want him to know. She, he the mom have to tell her. No, the mom do not want want Kanan no, to know. No, the cop wants Rock to tell Kanan. Uh, no, but she don't want him to know, so she's not gonna do it. He needs to do it. He needs to hurry up and do it. He's slow, man. He's not going to. But anyway, stay tuned because we're gonna do our reaction like we always do. Love y'all. L.